Hey, is your freezer frosting up a lot and then the refrigerator not getting cold enough? I think I know the problem. I'm gonna share it with you today on Garden Farm, all right? Here's basically how refrigerator freezers work. The freezer is up here, has a coil that gets really cold and some of that air is sent down into the refrigerator below. Beyond that, there's a couple of gizmos in here that regulate everything. And a couple of them determine whether the coils in the freezer work or don't. And in my case, I noticed a bunch of real frosty stuff at the back of the freezer and that's where the coils are. So let me show you. Oh, I have an audience. You, get, you girls gotta wait. It's not dinner time yet. Here's our freezer compartment. There are two screws here, which I removed. And then this, you reach up here and pull this down and it might be frozen in place. Luckily this one isn't. And then behind here, let's see if I can get the light in here. Behind this plate, there's some wires. Make sure your refrigerator is unplugged, by the way. Reach in here with your two fingers. That disconnects and allows that to come down. And it exposes the freezer coils here. Quick refrigerator freezer anatomy lesson. This is a fan that distributes the cold air. This is the freezer coil. And at the bottom is this black thing, which goes underneath and comes back out over there. That heats up and defrosts the freezer coil. This back here is the thermostat, okay? All key things in keeping your freezer refrigerator running nicely. For a frost-free refrigerator, what's actually happening is that coil is being defrosted automatically every X number of hours. I think on this one it's every six hours. So what's going to happen is there's this thing called a timer. I took the fridge apart and I can't find anything. Oh, here it is. There's this thing called a timer, which is very similar to one of those light timers, those ones that um, are very analog and mechanical that to plug a light in and turn on and off when you're on vacation. Well, this timer controls when the heating coil underneath the freezer coils turns on, melts the frost off, goes down a drain in the back, by the way, and then goes back into refrigerator mode. And if this is broken, the coils frost up, the heater doesn't turn on, this thing gets full of ice and your refrigerator warms up. There are a couple other things that can break in your freezer and refrigerator. The heating coil can go or the thermostat can go. But I'm gonna show you now how to test to see if it's the thermostat because this is more than likely what's wrong. Ready? So let's go down into the refrigerator compartment here. And on this one, there's a unit at the top here. And inside here are some screw holes. You're gonna have to stick your head in here but this one doesn't have a screw in it. It has what looks like a way to adjust a clock, okay? And I'm gonna put my screwdriver in here and engage the screw. And it cl you hear it clicking? We want it to make a big click, okay? Okay, did you hear that click? And then the compressor of the refrigerator stopped running. Now we're gonna go up here. We're gonna just put our hand close to this thing. Don't touch it, or maybe you wanna touch it. Uh, it might take a few minutes, but we wanna see if this black rod underneath here is heating up after that first click of the thermostat timer. It might take a minute to heat up. Okay, I waited just a minute, but you can put your finger under here and that is hot, okay? You can, ow, that is hot. And you can also tell by, you can start to seeing water dripping off the coils. See, this is all frosted. That's not frosted. That means it's defrosting. That's what that thing's supposed to do. Very cool. Okay, what does this tell us? This tells us that the defroster heating coil is working and that the thermostat in here, the little black um, buttony thing that's on the end of the coil is working 
and that the timer is not telling the defrost coil to turn on. In other words, this gizmo here, I'll link to below where I think you should buy this thing, um, is broken. And this is really easy to fix. It's much easier than fixing that defrost coil, I'll tell you. So we're down in the fridge. We've turned off the fridge and unplugged it. And we're gonna remove this housing here. Get your six in one screwdriver tool, because it's my favorite tool, and remove these screws. All right, and this comes down like that. It's our thermostat. So I want to unplug this and then pull this out away from the back wall like that and bring it out. See how that just came out like that? Do this gently, please. Here's the old one, here's the new one. This will only go in one way. Turn the timer switch a couple times. You wanna hear two clicks. After two clicks, stop. One, two. Okay, then you're in cooling mode. If you turn it and go one click, you're in defrost mode. One more click, you've left defrost mode, you're now in cooling mode. There's a tube back here that goes into that hole. Reattach this to here. There's only one way that this will go back on, like that. And we will screw it in now. Plug our refrigerator back in again. All right, I hear the compressor running. The light bulb is on. Now we're gonna turn the timer one click and see if the defroster will kick in. One click, okay? Now wait a minute and see if the heater heats up. After you've been working on this for a while, this coil is basically gonna self-defrost itself, so when you first put the timer back in, the defrost heater might not heat back up again. Turn the thing on and let it run for a couple hours and then check that defrost heater rod again, all right? But more than likely, it's the defrost timer, which we just replaced. And you did it yourself. It's not rocket science. You just, that thing there controls this thing here. Funny how that works, all right? If the timer is not the problem, it might be the thermostat or the defrost heating coil. That is hot. All right, there you go. More eclectic DIY. It's like fixing stuff and cooking food and Labradors and Eric's World. Whatever I do in the weekend, I make a video about it. These two are usually involved. And just, I think you can fix your fridge. If it's beyond you, please hire a professional. Remember to unplug things. Uh, again, this is a DIY, use at your own risk kind of thing. But the timer seems to be the thing that breaks the most. So I'll link below in the show notes where to order a timer for your fridge. You're good to go. More information about me below the video here. And Henry, because someone's hungry. Who's hungry here? Who's hungry? Is it dinner time? I'm not convinced. Yeah? That's better, that's better. Can I have a kiss first? No kiss?